So it looks like AMD is finally gearing up for the launch of the anxiously anticipated Navi GPU. Before the launch of any major silicon product, device IDs are generated and a preliminary support for these are added to testing, benchmarking, and detection tools. One of those which is HW Info, which is one that I personally use for all of my testing, HW Info 64, it's good stuff. In a recent changelog, the tool has added preliminary support for the AMD Navi, an indicator that the GPU is finally ready for launch and that its machine IDs have been finalized. The Navi GPU is a very special GPU. and In fact, it's the first graphics card from AMD that will not be made of the GCN macro architecture. This is something that we were told in our talks with AMD insiders more than a year back. The same people who also told us that Navi is not launching before the second half of 2019. While we have no idea what specs AMD will decide to go with, we do know that it will be the first GPU architecture capable of breaking the 4096 string processor limit imposed by the GCN macro architecture. This is exciting stuff because it will put AMD back in the GPU game on all levels. That said, it would make sense for the company to start off slow with a mainstream segment card rather than a high-end one. In fact, we've been told that one of the earliest SKUs will have just 40 CUs, which translates to a core count of 2,560 stream processors if the CU to SP ratio is the same as GCN, of which there is no confirmation as of yet. If that is the case, then we'll be looking at a performance metric that will go up against the GTX 1660 Ti and RTX 2070 class of cards, which is really the most profitable volume segment. We're also pretty sure that AMD will be launching the Navi G GPU very soon, and more on that, so make sure you stay tuned. Which is why, if you're someone who is still on an old RX 480 or 580, wait just a little longer, and you could have the perfect card to upgrade. AMD has taken its sweet time with this GPU segment, and it's clear that they are in no rush. And Navi will be a new micro architecture and the same IP that powers the succeeding Navi die. Here's the thing though. There have actually been rumblings that AMD is going to start off with a Navi 12 first and not Navi 10. And it is the Navi 12 GPU that will have 40 CUs. If this is true, then Navi 10 is going to be the flagship part that y'all might want to be looking out for. The performance of the card will be somewhere around the Vega 56 depending on the clock rate, but much cheaper, which definitely stopped me from buying a Vega 56 for my personal system, so I can wait just a little bit longer. Can you? Let us know if you're willing to wait at this point or if you're about to just buy something, anything, because the wait has been pretty excruciating. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.